So let's dig a little bit more about basement designs for kids, which is so much fun. I know, you know, there's everything from player areas to storage and webcams and safety, right? Because it's almost like a little, uh, you know, a, a daycare depending on the, the age. So you want to be able to keep an eye on them. Yeah, a lot of times the design will reflect the age of the children at the time uh, and also allow some flexibility. We don't want to just build a something that would be very, very much just a kid's playroom and the little playhouse and the little ladders and things right at the bottom of the stairs where three years from now and when the kids are, are no longer four and five and six years old, they're going to want the space to hook up the Wii and the Xbox. So we do try and design the spaces that kind of meet today's needs and then also think about, well, what does it look like in three or four or five years from now to make sure the space really works well. And oftentimes you do want to keep the younger kids closer to the stairs, closer to where you can see and hear them directly down from when you're upstairs. A lot of times that will determine whether we take the doorways off of the stairs and completely open them to the main level so that you can easily see and hear the noises below. And uh, we can always put doors back, but, uh, <laughs> but that's a lot of times what we think about for the kids is, is fun spaces. And uh, we do have our families too that, that know that in probably four or five years they'll probably need to remodel that kids area because we do build some sort of like a little almost built-in playhouse. And it's fun for the kids for a few years. It keeps the neighbor's kids, you know, from running around through around the streets and just down in their basement, uh, knowing that they'll probably have to take that out in a few years once they need that space back for their exercise room or the man cave. <laughs> and, it, and it sounds like when you design the playhouse, you better get ready for some traffic because all the kids in the neighborhood want to come over and hang out at the, at the playhouse space, right? Yeah. You got the coolest house on the block at that point. Yep. Just have to change out the carpet or whatever's going down the stairs because all the kids show up. I love that. It's it's more of a like from Legos to Xbox. That's the transition that you make in designing it, right? Finished basements are great new toys. Everybody loves to come see the new finished basements. They, uh, whether it's the adults or the kids, it's, it attracts a lot of the neighbors. Again, that's what adds value to your home as well is when people oh, yeah. come over like, let me show you our new basement. We're so excited about it. Absolutely. And then, of course, for resale, it's huge. Yeah, depending what part of the country you're in. Uh, here in Denver, we probably enjoy a pretty transient uh, group of people. So we have a lot of mother-in-laws and father-in-laws that come and travel out of state. We have brothers and sisters that don't live here. Uh, so we do. We finish a lot of uh, basements that include those bed and bath areas and uh, recreating areas, knowing that they're going to be at least 10 or 15% of the time occupied by family members. Uh, they tend to be really great resale uh, pieces. One of the planning and designing, going back to that thought, is that we build something that is good as a legacy to leave for the next family that might want to buy the home, that it really fits well with the organic, uh, the home's organic structure and, and rooms. So it has those rooms that it's missing upstairs and adds uh, more interest and appeal. So we find that uh, oftentimes return on investment is, is very, very high. Uh, I think even in the remodel magazine, cost versus value, which just came out this month, uh, lists it across the country, generally between 78 and 85 percent return on investment immediately. Wow. But we actually build for less dollar per square foot than most of what they're talking about. We find the return on investment is much higher than that, uh, perhaps even greater than 100 uh, percent. And then after a couple years, you find that that extra square footage certainly goes into the increase of the uh, home's value. And we've had appraisals that. done on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead, me. Oh no, I love I love that the legacy for the next family. That's that's such a great way to say that too. That it's something that is a showcase for them, but it, for the next family that goes in, it works for them too. Yeah, it, it's hard to stay in any home for more than ten or twelve or fifteen years. You, you eventually want to expand even more, move to a different part of the city or even out of state. And uh, so we make sure that the designs are are not completely, you know, centric on just that family. Unless they want to, absolutely, we can design some, and have done once in a while a real crazy space that's very much just for that family, and they don't care what's next. <laughs>